All right, guys, what's up? Ryan from Elevate Cyber. I am back to my normal setup here. We're coming at you with some technical content once again. Now, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over uh, a privilege escalation technique. And in the coming videos, I'll be covering more of these. Here's one to get you started. We're going to be doing uh, privilege escalation using Nano. If you're not familiar, Nano is a text editor software, uh, like a command line text editor, kind of like you have, uh, for example, Vim is one I use a lot on this channel. And I'll be showing you some Vim privilege escalation in the future, but for right now I'll show you Nano, right? This is Nano here. If you don't specify, normally you feed a file, you provide a file after the Nano command so it knows what file you want to open. But if you just run the Nano command like this, you'll see the text editor here. I can you know, I can save it or whatever I want to do. Edit files, right? Now, you can actually leverage this to get a root shell, you know, from your user level, level shell if you see that you have uh, no password access or sudo access to this, right? It doesn't have to be no password, right? In this little demo that I created for you guys, uh, it is using the no password from the Etsy sudoers file. So like for example, if I do a sudo minus L, I can see uh, we're able to run the following commands no pass uh, with no password, user bin nano. So uh, if we knew the password, like say we uh, had access to the sudo password somehow, maybe through some config files or whatever, uh, then if we just saw that we had access to running this command uh, you know, as root, then we would just need to provide the password uh, and then we'd be able to run it as root. Bottom line is, in order to uh, execute this uh, exploit here, we're going to need some way of running nano as root, okay? So as you can see here, I am the Kali user. So I don't have the same rights that the root user has. Like for example, if I try to cat Etsy shadow, it's gonna tell me I'm, I don't have permission to do that, right? Because I'm just a user level account. If I look at my ID, I'm just part of these groups. I'm not a part of uh, the group that uh, root is a part of, right? And here's another way to look at that. I pull up the Etsy password file here. Let me make this a little bit uh, larger for you guys so you can see a little better. But uh, yeah, when I run this, you can see the root account here is a part of its own like root group and stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna need to elevate my privileges if I want to uh, have access to more stuff on the system. And especially if I'm doing a CTF, that's kind of the whole point of it, right? So. I created in the temp directory, I created a file called file owned by root. And if we take a look at the permissions on this file, we will see that this file is in fact owned by root. It's part of the root user. The root user is the one that owns it and the root group owns it, right? So we could just use nano right out of the gate to read the file because as you see here, it's world readable. So anyone can, can read it. And in fact, yes, we'll see, we can read it, but it'll say, you know, this, this is uh, not writable, right? And uh, that's gonna be a problem uh, because if, if we wanna get a shell, in this case, we're gonna need uh, to be able to write to this file. Now, where this comes into play is if we have that no password or any kind of sudo access to running this file, then we can effectively run this as root. And so, in this case, we can do sudo user bin nano, and then say the file, right? And we're able to just get in there right away. Why? Because we have no password access. Uh, like I said, if you don't have no password access to user bin nano, uh, but you know the password, well, you can do sudo user bin nano in the name of this file, same command as I just ran, you just need to put in the password and then you would get here, right? And now we're not getting that little warning at the bottom because we are able to uh, write to this file this time. That's the, that's not exactly the important part. The important part is that we have, we are running nano as root, right? 
So what I'm going to show you here, it relies on the fact that we're able to run nano as root. Uh, we can still access this functionality, although we would not get a root shell from doing this. We would get the we would get the level of shell that Nano is running as. So because we ran Nano as an elevated account, it, when we spawn a shell within Nano, we will get a shell that the Nano account uh, the account running Nano is right. So in this case, we ran Nano as root. So if we spawn a shell within Nano, that will be a root shell. So I just want to really break that down. So what we're going to be doing here, you know, we see our options down at the bottom here. We're going to do a control R. Now, this might be, if you're new to Nano, this might be a little weird here. These, This little arrow symbol, it's called a caret, and it's the control key. So this is control O, control R, control W, and so on. So we're going to start with control R for read file. And now we're going to see this option over here, execute command. Uh, with control x so i'm going to type that and now command you want to execute so this is something you can memorize i found this online uh just googling stuff when i was taking oscp but you want to type reset sh for shell right and you're going to do some redirects here don't worry too much about understanding what's going on uh, i'll put a link in the description to an article that gives you a little bit more uh info but even that doesn't really explain it too much this is something you don't really need to know or even memorize for that matter. Just put it in your notes and know that this is how you do this exploit here. So basically, we have a shell command and we're going to say to redirect, I'll, I'll break down what it's doing, right? We want to redirect one, which is standard out. Uh, we want to redirect that into standard in and the ampersand goes before the letter so it knows um, that you're referring to standard in and not the number zero. And then what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna redirect standard error to standard in as well. And so when we hit enter on that, it's gonna execute, and we're gonna see this uh, sort of pound sign which indicates a root shell. Now if we type who am I, we'll see we are root in here. We'll go down here so you can see a little better. We now have a root shell, right? So now we can do things like cat the Etsy shadow file and all that good stuff, right? So, yep, from here we can pretty much do whatever we want. Before I close the video, one last thing I want to show you guys, just to illustrate why you need the, uh, why we needed to run this as root, right? Why we need to have the sudo access to do this. Because if we just ran nano as is without the sudo command, we could still get into the uh, read file execute command like we did before, and we could still run uh, the exact same thing that we had just ran. Let me just type this really quick. I just want to show you guys. You can still run this, but the issue that you're going to run into is it's not going to be a root shell, see? Because it goes off of, it, it, like when you spawn, whenever you spawn a shell within the context of a program, that shell will spawn as the user that is running that program, right? So just a, one last recap, right? Because uh, we didn't run this with elevated privileges, we ran this as the Kali account. When we spawn a shell within it, we're still the Kali account. Since we were able to spawn it uh, with the sudo command, we were able to run it under the root account. So when we spawn a shell within it, we get a root shell. So hope that clears everything up. This was just a uh, well, I guess not so short, uh, but pretty in-depth, pretty thorough, I, I feel like, uh, video on how to privilege, escalate your privileges with Nano. In the future, I will be doing more of these, such as Vim and uh, different stuff like that. So if you guys have been enjoying this content, definitely hit the like button. It lets me know that uh, the privilege escalation stuff is of interest and of help to you guys. And uh, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video.